call for me like that. Uh, can't be at us. I'm bad. I'm bad. Well, my name's Cody Shrum. I'm from Alliance, Nebraska originally, and now I reside in Brooklyn, New York as a New York City fireman. I recently met up with Tom and Nick in Harrisburg at the Great American Outdoor Show, where they were offering video courses both online and at their actual studio and their Huntler Compete events and stuff. And they had the Predator Huntler Compete in Kansas at Hickory Creek Outfitter. And so I went, down, went on down to Kansas and uh, took their three-day class and shortly after my return to New York I found a passion deep down inside me that I really didn't know existed. I knew that I enjoyed filming I just didn't realize that it was on that level. I, I wanted to do more and I became aware of their graduate program that they offer and I, I signed up for both their field producer class and their editing course and I was back and forth to Ohio for the next couple months taking all them courses. And you know, I've, uh, I've been lucky enough to be invited this year on a couple hunts with, with the guys. And uh, one, I was producing and filming Tom. And then the other, I was able to hunt and film myself in Kentucky. Those two trips, I was there with my instructors that had helped me out the last six months prior and it was all on me to capture the footage, but at the end of the day, when I had a question or something, I had them there to help me out. And I have upped my level of experience tremendously, and I'm looking forward to what I'm gonna be producing in the near future.
if you ever thought that your job was tough. Imagine living a normal day at work in the shoes of one of our true American heroes. This segment is brought to you by Film the Hunt. Look for our on-site courses for tons of opportunity in learning outdoor video production at filmthehunt.com. The Life has been brought to you by Prime, where accuracy is everything. Rocky Mountain, rock solid dependability. Film the Hunt, an outdoor video education from the people who care. Traeger Grills, taste the wood fired difference. Badlands Packs, unconditional lifetime warranty. And Exodus Trail Cameras, life's a passion, pursue it. Cody is not only a fireman, he is the guy that enters those burning buildings with no water, nothing more than the tools he needs to save a life. And I can only imagine the things that he sees, the stresses that he feels at the end of the day, which I think is what led Cody to his passions of filming hunts. It led him in a direction to chase dreams, to spend time truly away from work in his off time. When we finally got a chance to meet Cody at one of our editing schools a while back, we knew not too long into it that he would be one of those that shined and that with the help that we could offer him in learning more about one of his passions, he'd quickly reach every goal that he set out to reach. stalking that mule deer that didn't work out so we got a nice white tail buck laying on the side of a hill up here i can't tell exactly how nice he is but we go see if we can get on him it looks like he's laying right over the top of a, a little knoll so we might be able to actually put a stalk on him <laughs> This segment is brought to you by Film the Hunt. Get an outdoor video education right from home with filmthehunt.com. As Cody set out on many adventures and trying to film his hunts, he quickly was learning what many of the frustrations it can bring to you, which is why he decided to head to Kansas for a little more training and a little bit of fun for himself.
Cody was gaining a lot of experience in just getting out there and fighting those battles. But now as we head to Kentucky and offer him an entire episode of his own, it was up to him to capture these moments and these memories and put all that he's learned to the true test. I paint the pictures of the oceans I'll never see. I hold a candle through the darkness so I believe set up finally. Uh, it's the first time I've been to Kentucky. First time in a tree. First time filming out of a tree. Uh, should be an interesting night. It's pretty warm out here. It's about 90 degrees right now. Afternoon hunt. Wind's in our face. Everything's in our favor. Just need some deer to show up. Try to explain how, how I feel, but no, there's no escape, so, so, I'll grab my Life has been brought to you by Sitka, turning clothing into gear. Capture the hunt with Bedford Camera, your leading source for all your outdoor video needs. On X Maps, hunt smarter with the new era of GPS. The Bearded Buck, show your passion with Bearded Buck fashion. The Jurassic Park, where the outside is in. And Wind Scent, a vapor hunting scent.
40 yard shot. I was not expecting him to come up. That's a different buck. It's a different buck. He's still in velvet. Made a nice clean pass through. He's down right over here, 150 yards away. I can't help but traveling down memory lane. The taste of life, a precious sip of wine. Feelings crawl beneath my skin, so hard to explain. When I look back at the first day I met Cody and all of our time spent with him in the classroom and in the field, and then I look at the memories that we've made ourselves with Cody over the last few months, Cody has become a friend and someone that we look up to as a true American hero. And for us to be able to put together this story that Cody documented himself makes us very proud. And getting a chance to experience the full circle as that venison hit the grill and him and his new buddies got to enjoy a good meal that he provided. Now that's what it's all about. Well, the last year has been a, uh, an adventure for me, to say the least. I've been to Kentucky, Kansas, Nebraska, Canada, Ohio. And, you know, some people take these courses as a career move, you know, hoping to make it big in the outdoor world and stuff like that. You know, for me, it's, it's more of a, it's a passion, you know. It's, it's something that I just love doing, you know. Because at the end of the day, I'm a New York City fireman first. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be a fireman day in and day out. And fortunately, I'm able to live out both my dreams. You know, I, I feel like that's what everybody should be doing with their life is living to do what they wanna do. Nick had an accident. <laughs> what happened, the hose fall off? <laughs> 